So if you saw the short video about the R550 that's now available on our Amazon store, it's an amazing wireless access point and it can really transform your small to medium business or your home. So I'm gonna go through, if you saw the short video, I showed you everything that's in the box and I'll go through that all again here just in case you haven't. But in the box, you're gonna get an AC power adapter. And this is a huge deal because not everybody has a power over ethernet switch to power the access point. So now you can power it, plug it into your network, you're good to go. It also has mounting hardware and it comes with the, some documentation. Now the documentation outlines very well everything I'm gonna kind of show you and demonstrate here. But one of the really cool things that I like about this is that it comes with a little template drawing. And no matter your skill level of DIY, this is really simple because you can just put this on the wall. There's your holes measured for you. It also gives you the measurement on there. It's pretty slick. Now, one thing you need to kind of, oh, and one other thing, it does come with an ethernet cable. So that's important as well. Now this access point, when you attach it to a ceiling or you attach it to a surface, these holes, it has, I don't know if you can see this on this camera, but it has that little pin in there. And I, we've done videos on this in the past, but I'm going to do this again real quick. So let's imagine this is, we used our template. These are the screws. This is what we're going to put in there. Okay. So when I set this in here, it takes a little bit of elbow grease. There we go. Okay. It's on there. This is not coming off. It's stuck. Okay. In the front of this access point, there's a little pinhole right there. Okay. In the box, in the bag, with the screws for mounting and everything else, it comes with this little key. Now this key slides into that little hole. Basically, almost every single one of our products has this, but all you have to do is put that key in there and just push on it. And once I do that, it loosens it, it comes right off. So that's how you get it off of whatever it's attached to. It loosens that pin in there. I have a Ruckus ICX switch, which supports PoE, so I don't need to use this. However, I'm gonna plug this in, it's gonna power up. Regardless of you, if you're using this AC power supply here, you're gonna to have to plug this in the same way and attach it to your network, whether it be a hub, a switch, or whatever. So let's plug it in, we'll see the power light come on, and then I'll show you when it's ready to be configured. Just like that, when we plug it in, the power light comes on immediately. Okay, now we see the power and the control lights flashing pretty rapidly. That means that it's now broadcasting the configure me SSID. So let's go ahead and start the configuration. Two things I should point out. When we plug the access point in and the power light was blinking red, it took about two to three minutes for it to go to the power and control lights flashing green. So that's pretty quick. The other one is you can configure this access point in two ways. You can do it from your laptop by configuring to the configure me SSID, or you can download the Ruckus Unleashed app. You can go ahead and connect to that from your mobile device, open the app and configure it. I'll give you an example of that at the end, but do keep in mind if you purchase this R550 from Amazon, the access point does ship with Unleashed software on it. So this is a step-by-step -step tutorial that shows you exactly how to do all of that. So all that out of the way, let's configure this bad boy. Okay, we can see in our wireless networks, we have a configure.me, WLAN being broadcast, or an SSID, whatever you want to call it. But at the end, we have six characters. That's the last six digits of the MAC address. That's why I showed you the sticker on the bottom of the access point, so you can verify that the MAC matches what's on that sticker. Okay, so something I probably should have pointed out, and I'll point it out now, is when you connect to the configure.me WLAN, it's wide open. It should not ask you for a password, so you can connect to it really easy. Once you have your browser open, you're going to just navigate to unleash.ruckuswireless.com and it's going to bring up the run wizard. Now I'm going to show you how to do this in a typical install. If you're looking for something like unleash multi -man or multi site manager or a gateway mode type of installation, we have other content for that. This is really just to cover very simple installs, small to medium business, uh, home use, things like that. So I'm going to go through it just pretty quickly in that fashion. Okay. So we'll do a typical install. And with a typical install, we can rename the system if we want to, but Ruckus Unleashed, it's pretty self-explanatory. I'll leave it. Now, I'm not going to check gateway mode. I am going to leave everything as DHCP. That's perfect. That's exactly how we want it. Okay, click on next. Now, eSSID, this is your WLAN or SSID as you might know it. It's your wireless network, Wi-Fi network, whatever you want to call it. 
So for this, I'm just going to change it. I'm sure you have something very customized for your house or your business that you like to use. Uh, I'm just going to call this one unleashed. Okay. And then we're going to give it a password. This is the password you need to connect to your Unleashed network. So I'm going to use a password that's completely out of security practices. You can click on the eyeball just in as, as an example. Use something that's complex enough but that you can remember. Remember, you're going to give this to your kids, your coworkers, your customers, whatever you're using this for. So keep it somewhat simple but something you can remember and something that's not so simple. Anybody can just get in. Now your admin username and password, this is important. You need to have a password that's complex enough that doesn't necessarily let anybody just hack into it, but you need to do this because when you navigate to unleash.ruckuswireless.com after the setup is completed, this is how you manage your device. You can add WLANs here, you can add parental controls, you can turn networks on and off at a certain time. So it's important to remember that. But one thing I would highly recommend you do is use the password recovery option. Put your email in there, security question and the answer. If you don't do this and you lose the password, you have to reset the system and go through this all over again. And it can be a bit of a pain. So we'll go ahead and click on next. This is gonna give us just a rundown of everything that we configured. You click on finish, it runs through the setup. It takes maybe about five minutes. It's gotta configure it, reboot the access point, comes back up and you're unleashed. Okay, I'm gonna go through this kind of quick, but I'm not gonna complete this process because I have to use this access point for other demos. So trust me, going through this process is very simple and when you do it, it takes about two minutes and then your network's ready to go. It just has to configure it, reboot it, and you're ready. So you can see here, I've already connected to the configure me WLAN. So that means I can go ahead and go to my home screen or wherever I see the Unleashed app installed and open it. Now here, we're just gonna use the typical install. Gateway installs, or if you use it as your NAT device, it's outside of the scope of this video, you can use it. But for most installs, it's typical, so we're gonna use typical. Okay, then we'll just tap on start. Now here, we're gonna leave it to automatic or DHCP IP address assignment. That's perfectly fine for most use cases, but we're not gonna mesh. It's our only access point, we don't need to mesh it. So we'll tap next. Now here, it wants a WLAN name or what your SSID is. This is the wireless network that's broadcast that you connect to. So when we're done, we search our wireless networks, we should see Ruckus Unleashed. Now it needs a WLAN password. I'm gonna give it something simple. I would recommend you give it something not simple, but complex enough that you can remember and then give to your family, your friends, whoever you want to allow to attach to your wireless network. So I'm gonna make ours very simple and I'll just do it as Ruckus 100, okay? Now you can't change the country code because the country code you bought it in is burned into the access point. So we'll go ahead and leave that the same. Now to configure Unleash, this is very important. This is your administrator username and password to get into the system, to make changes, to add WLANs, to do anything you need to to it. So you need to add a password. Here I would recommend you use a password separate from your WLAN password, but also something that you can remember. Now, don't use my example because I'm gonna make it similar to what we used before. I'll do it as Ruckus 200, but make it more complex so, but, so you don't forget it. Tap next. Now, I highly recommend you use this feature. It's a password recovery email. You can put a security question in there and a security answer. If you lose your admin password, you now have a way to recover it. Okay, so here's a setup review. Here's our wireless LAN network that we have, the password for it. You can click on the little eyeballs. It'll show you what password you set so that you know they're set correctly. And then you would just tap finish. This will complete the setup. And then you should be good to go in about two to three minutes. My goal here was to make this as simple as possible. Show you how to do it on a PC, it's the same way on a Mac. Show you how to do it on an iPhone, it's the same way on an Android. Show you what's in the box, it's in the box. So. I really hope you enjoyed the video. There's tons of content on the channel. Check it out. I really have nothing else to say, so we'll see you next time.